Hi there, welcome to Celebrity Sphere. Jaguar right, and she's dropping a few sentences about Diddy and Jay-Z. One former member of The Roots and a spirit vocalist Jaguar Wright has been well known for her disputable and frequently enlightening cases about the music business yet this most recent film takes things to an unheard of level. In this recently spilled film Jaguar, Wright is seen uncovering probably the haziest mysteries around two of Hip Bounce's greatest symbols Diddy and Jay-Z she guarantees that there's significantly more occurring in the background than anybody at any point envisioned well. Diddy's standing out as truly newsworthy again. This time it's for that viral clasp from 2016, showing him supposedly beating his ex Cassie Vora, yet that is not all Jay-Z, who is supposed to be essential for Diddy's inward circle, is likewise blamed for cozying up to guard him the book is. Perfect by how in the everybody is stunned everybody with the exception of Panther right? That is for those of you who don't realize Jaguar is a 47-year-old previous pillar in the music scene, she even teams up with her. Huge names like Diddy and Jay-Z. Nevertheless, Panther has distanced herself from the industry after her upcoming EP, claiming that this is due to the show's advancement and alleged mistreatment behind the scenes. Jaguar has been vocal about the hazier side of the music business, charging that there's significantly more happening than meets the eye. As per her, the goal of a few major marks like Terrible Kid Records is to smother genuine ability as opposed to supporting it. We don't need ability as a terrible kid. Ability are to say goodness and ability, I am a turn in my collection. When I feel like it, he said yet check whether we get individuals with no ability, and afterward, we make them seem to be stars see. We have all out control in light of the fact that without us they can't he said how they will run this. Mark and we gone, and I will make every one of you. And that was his motivational speech at the Unit Cat Club in 1996 to his understudies who are currently generally um execu leaders at Terrible Kid, so tough. That makes sense of the making the band getting questions right now, Jaguar right? is determined to uncover the lamentable truth about the hip bounce industry as per her it's brimming with wrongdoers, however just some get found out, and surprisingly, less really get arraigned for their violations. Diddy has been fortunate up until 2023, on the grounds that, as per Panther, he's the most awful of all. Have you at any point been to a P. Diddy party? Jaguar guarantees she's gone to a few, and what she saw was stunning. When she got some information about what occurs at these gatherings, she obtusely expressed cash. That is all there is to it. She was shocked by the quantity of cameras in Diddy's home, not in any way, shape, or form. She asserts he records all that and alludes to him as the J. Edgar Hoover of Hip Jump. Jaguar likewise referenced that participants have seen him take part in sketchy exercises, including recruiting accompanies. Panther's disclosures illustrate the hip bounce industry bringing up difficult issues about the way of behaving of a portion of its greatest names. So allowed me to ask you when you hear that Cassie was told to employ male escorts to come in what they call oddity offs. Now, that is something. Is that something ordinary that occurs in Hollywood? Better believe it, freak off. Okay, everyone realizes that I've been saying it, no doubt. So in the event that you've recently awakened from a profound freeze, we should get you up. Diddy has been blamed for vicious wrongdoings against a few people. There have been diligent bits of gossip about his supposed oddities, where he would purportedly supply medications and liquor to diggers once everybody was adequately inebriated. Either Diddy or somebody from his tip-top circle would supposedly plunge in and misuse them. Panther Wright has been vocal about these upsetting cases, meaning to reveal insight into what she depicts as the dim underside of the hip bounce industry. As per her, Diddy is the most exceedingly terrible wrongdoer, and his gatherings are only a glimpse of something larger. Wright reviews cash, and that is all there is to it while depicting what occurs at these famous get-togethers. She wasn't shocked by the quantity of cameras in Diddy's home, recommending he record all that. She even expressed that Diddy utilized the Celeb accounts to coerce superstars and use them for influence. Currently, we should change gears to another viewpoint a music maker who dealt with Diddy's most recent Grammy-nominated collection, the Affection Collection. Off the framework shared his debilitating experience. He presented himself. Some of you might know me or may not. I'm a music maker, essayist, and performer. I began in gospel jazz and R and B and worked my direction over to Hip Jump. 
I've been dealing with a collection, and it required an extended period of straight work. He kept taking on this collection for such a long time. We worked a very long time at a time, often for 16 to 24 hours daily. In some cases, Diddy would demand specific errands and tell us not to rest until they were finished. Recognition of the exhausting system in the background torments an image of a requesting and determined workplace. This record was joined with Jaguar WS claims he uncovers a conspicuous difference between the glossy surface of the music business and the unforgiving real factors that a few insiders face. This collection demanded such a lot of time that we worked for months all at once, frequently 16 to 24 hours daily. In some cases, Diddy would demand specific errands and tell us not to rest until they were done. Truly, we'd be awake for days attempting to achieve that. The maker communicated disappointment with the business side of things. I've attempted to get my business straight with them on this collection, but truly, they're not playing fair. They hit me on sportsmen likely in such countless circumstances. Simply managing this, the agreement they gave me and the proposition were sickening. The maker's expense was pennies, and on top of that, they're attempting to take my distribution. I can't go for that, so I'm retaliating. I must do it for myself and my privileges. Lil Bar Diddy's previous partner, and a music maker who worked with him on the adoration collection named Names, lived with Diddy for a year and got to encounter the internal functions of the business firsthand, which he guarantees completely changed himself for the more terrible these disclosures. Portray the music business, where the glossy surface conceals a much darker reality. Panther Freedom's claims against Diddy have surely created a ruckus, yet the story doesn't end there. Lil Bar, a previous partner and music maker who worked with Diddy, has his own disrupting encounters to impart his opportunity to Diddy, while apparently impressive on a superficial level changed his life for the worse. Around 10 or a long time back, Lil Pole had a relative who he needed to get a temporary position with Diddy concurred, and soon the understudy was zooming around on personal luxury planes and remaining in extravagant houses anyway. The temporary position suddenly finished after only three or four months. Lil Bar addressed his relative, yet they were at first hush about what had happened years after the fact that the relative at last, he discovered the upsetting truth Diddy had told him, to return home and remain the night with him, inferring that the entry-level position would be finished assuming? He denied the relative, said no, and sure enough, the temporary job finished, and in addition to the fact that Diddy cut the temporary job short, he would not pay Lil Pole what he was owed by Lil Bar. This was on the grounds that he had been the one to let Diddy know clearly that he needed out. Diddy wasn't used to individuals expressing no to him and fought back by endeavoring to risk Lil Bar's vocation. Lil Pole referenced that regardless of the evident advantages like vehicles and young ladies, the truth of working with Diddy was a long way from Gail Impressive. He wishes individuals would come clean about what happens in the background. These disclosures portray the length a few people in the music business could go to keep up with control and power on the off chance that you see something offer, something right yet truly no one truly needs to hear it in the music business. Risking somebody's profession to say hello, on the off chance that you don't do this, you won't go higher than this is a typical danger. Panther Wright has heard it many times. In a meeting, Jaguar Wright, was inquired as to whether she had at any point confronted such ultimatums in the business she uncovered. Definitely, I was informed. We should get down, they said, and you will see a few entryways open. I was medicated. This is certainly not a separate case. Jaguar Wright has claimed that Diddy has a background marked by sedating industry laborers to control them. She guarantees Diddy's whole business, as usual depended on his situation as a music force to be reckoned with, suggesting that the best way to the top was through him. Panther Wright has been vocal about the background activities of Diddy, otherwise called Puff Daddy or P. Diddy. She attests that the world didn't have a clue about the genuine degree of what was going on. As per her, there were numerous dim mysteries, and the individuals who set out to stand up risked their vocations in the event that you didn't consent, you wouldn't progress. That was the fundamental message she says many got considering her encounters. Panther shared that there were moments when she was straightforwardly told to take part in sketchy exercises to guarantee professional development. I was tranquilized. 
she expressed describing one such experience. This was a one-time occurrence as well as a component of a bigger example she professes to have seen over and over. The disclosures from Panther W about Diddy and the music business are stunning as well as profoundly disturbing. They recommend a culture of control pressure and maltreatment of force that continues unrestrained. Wright's boldness to stand up is a call for straightforwardness and change inside the business. What is your take? Have they changed your view of the music business and its power players in these cases? So what did Jaguar Wright have some familiarity with the business that we didn't? She mentioned a few insignificant details, stating, Assuming I understand how I discovered Cassie intended to approach that could hurt some people. This mysterious assertion adds to the secret and gravity of her cases. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below and don't forget to like and subscribe.